up YouTube? What is up? I'm back with another YouTube video and today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are currently six days out which is nuts. I don't know how we got here so fast but for my show we are going to Dallas, Texas in two days so I have to pack. I figured I would bring you guys along with me for the show day essentials because this could help out one of my girls out there. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost we will need our suit. And I'll throw a suit reveal in here but you have to watch the full video to get that little glimpse. I'll reveal it here just for you guys. And of course, our robe to go with it. This is to just cover up whenever you're walking around at the show or if you're waiting to be called and if you don't want to walk around naked pretty much. Along with the show day suit, of course, we have to bring our jewelry. So I have my bag here of just my jewelry, it has backups, it has multiples of rings, bracelets, and earrings. So I definitely will keep that with my suit at all times. And speaking of backups, I have my backup suit. Worst case scenario, I have to whip this out, which I don't know how I would even fit this anymore, but we'll make it work if we have to. The last thing you want is to break or rip a strap and then have to not compete. <laughs> I don't know what you would do in that case, which is why I'm going to stay away from that, which is why I'm going to bring an extra suit. And finally, for the show day glam, we have our heels here. I would recommend getting a backup pair of heels as well. Because I will be in Dallas for the rest of peak week, I'm also bringing my posing suit, so that way I can check in with my coach whenever I need to and have a real look and don't have to break out my suit that often. I don't want crystals falling, I don't want straps breaking, don't want to touch it as much as I don't have to pretty much. Now, something I carry with me at all times whenever I am tanned is this funnel. This funnel is a life-saving thing for my girls. Trust me, it will change your life. You don't have to worry about going to the bathroom. You don't have to really worry about staining the toilet or messing up your tan. Boom, that's what it is and it is very, very helpful. Trust me, make sure you clean it every time you use it though. That is going to also be disgusting if you don't do that. I got this from Amazon and it, it has been a lifesaver, trust me. For my girls who do their own makeup, I would suggest getting a big bag just to put all your makeup in because me, I will never let someone do my makeup ever again. Cue the photo. <laughs> That is why I show that on my page quite often because I think it's so funny. Again, I'm actually traumatized, so I will always do my own makeup. What I have in here is, of course, my makeup palette along with just everything that you can honestly think of. Different types of blushes, contours, foundations, lip glosses, all of the above here. When you are traveling, I do recommend bringing your own sheets because you will stain everything you touch along with towels and washcloths. You will actually stain everything you touch. And believe me when I say it, a wall, a door, a door handle, <laughs> anything you touch will be stained. So I typically get all black or you can use something that you just don't use anymore. But obviously you can see from the trend here, I use all black. <laughs> Another essential for show day is slides. Again, black slides, but you can use anything. These are essential. This is a new thing that I got this year and it's actually going to be super beneficial, especially for a national show when the shows are a lot bigger and a lot longer, is a blanket. So I'm keeping this wrapped up. I just wanna keep this as compacted as I can. A blanket to lay on, to put over you, to just relax because a lot of you might think that shows are very fast paced. They are very, very slow paced until you're up. So you'll, you could be waiting an hour, two hours, three hours. I've seen as long as eight hours before. So I would definitely recommend a blanket. And of course, when you are ready to go up on stage, you have to get pump up bands. I would recommend bringing your own. Do not count on a show. The last thing you want to look like on stage is flat. We do not do that. We want to be full and we want to look good. So bring your own bands, even if it's just one. You don't have to bring all of this. Just one, two bands, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you have this in your bag at all times. For the tan, we are going to wear black loose clothing. I recommend everyone doing this. Typically, everyone will wear black loose clothing, but if you wear something tight, it has potential to ruin your tan or streak your tan, and that's the last thing we want. So again, black clothing, black everything, it works out. <laughs> For my girls who do their hair, 
straightener. If you're just straightening your hair, I would recommend doing it yourself and that's what I will be doing. So that's a little hint of what my hair will be like on show day. Speaking of hair, I have all my hair products here. Leave-in conditioner, shampoo, conditioner, wax, hair treatment, hair oil. I would recommend bringing a water bottle wherever you go, wherever you travel. It's always helpful, especially Ghost. This is a beautiful shaker cup, by far my favorite, without a shadow of a doubt. I would also recommend bringing a food scale too, because when you're backstage, your coach had to weigh something out. The last thing you want to do is not have a food scale, especially because I like to be consistent with my own food scale, because some scales can be different. So bring your food skill backstage. Something I would recommend bringing as well is a tote bag. If you need to bring something backstage like food or if you have to bring straightener, your makeup, you have it all in one bag. You don't have to necessarily bring everything separate. So this is why I bring a tote bag wherever I go and this is wherever I travel. If you come back with more than you brought, this can be handy as well. Favorite part that is going to be so worth it every single time is the post-show cookies. This is what everyone enjoys after a show when you work that hard to look the way you do and feel the way you do no matter what place you got. I'm No matter what your placement was, you dedicated all that time and all that effort to enjoy a sweet treat. That is all I have for you for show day necessities. Again, this will work for any female competitor. I've had these written down since the beginning of my prep and my notes, so that way I never forgot anything. That way I could always refer back to it just in case I needed to pick up something or order it before. I hope you guys found it very useful. Make sure you comment down below what I forgot or what I should have added or what helped you specifically so that way I can know for next time and share with each of you guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment if this video was even helpful and I can make more videos like this if you guys would like that. With that, I will see you guys in a few days. Peace.